Just last month, records reveal that English singer-songwriter Leona Lewis has purchased a new home in Studio City, LA for $2.6 million. And it's also the former starter home of a famous YouTuber. Any guesses who? I'll give you a hint. He was cancelled last summer. Anyways, Leona has owned a handful of homes in Los Angeles over the years, including a ranch in Glendale and a Hidden Hills property she sold for $3.9 million to her former mentor Simon Cowell. Today we'll check out her properties, including her newest one. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Leona Lewis is a British singer, songwriter, actress and more who attended the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in Croydon. She received recognition when she won the third season of The X Factor back in 2006 and also won a recording contract with Psycho Music. After her winner's single broke a world record for reaching 50,000 downloads in 30 minutes and peaked on the UK charts, Leona also ended up scoring a deal in the US. In 2007, she signed a five album contract with J Records. The songstress had continued success with the release of her debut studio album, which was certified 10 times platinum in the UK, and the lead single Bleeding Love was number one for weeks in over 30 countries. Leona continued to release some more hit tunes, more albums, and more collaborations over the years. In 2014, she made her movie debut with a role in Walking on Sunshine and even parlayed her talent into Broadway two years later as Grizabella and the musical Cats. As of 2015, Leona is the second best-selling act off of the X Factor UK, following behind One Direction, selling over 30 million records worldwide and winning multiple awards and accolades along the way. Aside from her career in showbiz, Lewis is also an activist publicly supporting a variety of charities, especially animal rights. At the time of this recording, Leona's net worth is estimated to be anywhere between 20 to 30 million dollars, which has no doubt afforded her some beautiful Los Angeles homes over the years. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we're going to check out where singer-songwriter Leona Lewis calls home, including her newest purchase in Studio City and some of her former homes in the Los Angeles area. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Way back in 2009, Leona bought a home in the Hollywood Hills for about $1.8 million, but according to records, it appears she flipped it and sold it two years later in 2011 for about $2.5 million. This gated mini compound was located high up in the hills on a private street and had a Mediterranean vibe built back in 1999. The main abode measured in at 3,946 square feet with four beds and 4.5 baths, and this structure was separate from the small guest house on top of the garage. The entryway boasted a raw iron staircase and just a step down, there was a formal living room with a massive stone fireplace, a vaulted ceiling, walls of windows and a glittery chandelier. At the time Leona listed the home, it appeared the formal dining and family rooms were revamped with a glam white old Hollywood decor compared to how it looked before she moved in. Even the kitchen used to have an outdated vibe but Leona redid the entire space in all white with new stainless appliances. There was also a breakfast area with flat screen TV, chandelier and farmhouse table. The bedrooms were all decked out in tan wall to wall carpeting which has likely been changed since, while the master suite had a fireplace, private balcony and four poster bed at the time. Other features included a stone terrace outside along with a swimming pool and spa. In 2013, Leona purchased a home in Glendale, California, an area in LA near Pasadena for $1.2 million. She quietly sold a sequestrian ranch estate in 2019 for $2.25 million, getting a nice chunk of change in the process. Just a short walk from the LA Equestrian Center, her former three quarters of an acre property was totally private and hidden behind a thick hedge and remote controlled driveway. This property was called River Ranch because of how it backs up to a concrete canal attached to the LA River. The main residence on the property was a 1950s ranch house coming in at just over 2,100 square feet and fully updated in recent years. There were three beds and three baths throughout, and luxe features like a wall boutique style swimming pool and spa area out back. 
The home was modestly sized, but every room was styled fresh. The family room had a wall of whitewashed exposed brick, hardwood floors, a fireplace, flat screen TV, and plenty of space to hang out, all of which opened up to the yard. Elsewhere, there was a sunroom with some more couches to lounge and a full wall of retractable glass alongside the pool. The slim kitchen wasn't very spacious, but had all the appliances and upgrades one may need, and there was a dining room nearby with a wall of windows. This estate had a ton of features out on the grounds though, where there was a guest house and a horse keeper's apartment, a four stall barn, a shed, a fence paddock, and a picket fence goat pen. But I would want to know if it came with the goats and horses because they're definitely the highlight of this property for sure. It would appear that Miss Lewis has a thing for equestrian properties since the Hidden Hills house she upgraded to next was also one with a lot of similarities to the place we just looked at. In September 2020, records showed that Leona sold this home we're going to check out in an off market deal for $3.9 million to her friend and former mentor, none other than Simon Cowell. This property she lived up until recently was a step up from the Glendale Ranch, but mostly just because of the larger size. Her Hidden Hills abode spanned 5,900 square feet of space in total, with a 4,900 square foot main house and a detached guest house on the property. There were five beds and six baths and a bit of a Scandinavian influence in the interior design, according to some at least. That may be because the sprawling ranch house had some of the same red brick that paved the eye-catching driveway. The living room boasted a carpeted floor and aside from the oversized fireplace, the space was airy and minimalistic. This space had large picture windows and a vaulted ceiling with skylights, while the nearby kitchen had a mix of wood cabinets and pops of sky blue paint throughout. This sky blue theme reoccurs in the rest of the home or at least some of the rooms, like the laundry room and the powder room. One of the bedrooms in the main house was converted to a wood paneled family room with full bar and built in media station, while Leona's former master suite was full of natural light and boasted a fireplace, private garden, zen inspired bathroom and a huge walk-in closet. At the back of the home, the kitchen leads out to a spacious covered patio with built-in grill, perfect to entertain guests. Out back, there's also a free-form swimming pool and shaded fire pit with bench seating. The deluxe guest house in the property was completely separate and had features like a poolside lounge with kitchenette, a pool bath with exterior entryway, and a large bedroom and second bathroom with frameless glass encased shower. For horse lovers, Leona's former property even had a barn with connecting sandy paddock. And if you don't have any horses, this space could be turned into a gym, office, or a recording studio. Just last month, Leona got herself a brand new property moving to the Studio City area of Los Angeles, and it was formerly the starter home of a famous YouTuber. If you haven't guessed who yet, it belonged to none other than Shane Dawson, and Leona snagged it for $2.6 million. The somewhat Mediterranean-style villa was tucked into the hills overlooking LA on over half an acre of land, and off a winding mountain road down along driveway and behind security gates. At the bottom of the driveway, there's a detached garage and a pedestrian gate that gives way to a central courtyard area with swimming pool and spa. So different than other houses, once you pass the pool, then you reach the front door of Leona's new home. And inside, there's a designer display of neutral colors like cream-colored walls and white hardwood floors with beam ceilings. The home, originally built in 1953, has since been updated with all the luxe amenities you could imagine and boasts 2,264 square feet of space. The home is full of natural light since there are fold away walls of glass all over. There are three beds and 3.5 baths. Listing details don't give away all the features of Leona's new space, but we do know the kitchen offers skylights overhead, top of the line appliances, and quartz countertops. There's also a beautiful outdoor patio with views over the San Fernando Valley and an entryway with staircase that looks like it's floating. This staircase leads you to the impressive treehouse style master suite, which is complete with a corner fire fireplace and views of the city lights. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We've looked at a handful of singer-songwriter Leona Lewis's home she's owned in LA, including her latest purchase in Studio City. After seeing her homes, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? I can tell that she loves ranch-style homes, at least according to two of her previous spots, and her properties have been gorgeous, but on the modest side. I like the Glendale Ranch because of all the space to have animals, even if it wasn't as big as her next two homes, but the decoration 
decoration in the newest spot is also super impressive. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Leona's homes in the comments below or even give them a rating. I really want to get to know you guys better so please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. Drop me a comment and we can continue the conversation. It's going to be about the serpent also known as Charles Sobraj. So before I get into the real life story about this dude I'm just going to talk about the Netflix show that I've been watching which inspired me to make this video in the first place. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see on this channel next. I'll see you all next time. Bye!